Hi guys, I hope you're all doing well. It's been quite a while since I did my last Toy Photographer's Guide video, which was talking about how to use Color Lookup on Adobe Photoshop. Um, if you're interested in that video, I'll leave a link in the description. It's a good handy video to give your photos a bit more of a cinematic look. But what we're going to focus right now on this tutorial is how to get that cool looking lightsaber effect for your toy Jedi or other action figures that use a laser sword. This will be very handy for you. So we're just going to zoom in and we've got our Obi-Wan figure here. I took this image last year around May. So it's been quite a while, but I thought this would be a perfect example how to use the lightsaber effect. Now you can see here, we've got a nice outer glow white center, just like a real lightsaber you would see in the movies. This is just a rough copy that I've made, but we're gonna go step by step on how to achieve that look. So we're gonna back up a real, little bit. I'm gonna turn off this layer. So we've got, a, we're starting from scratch. So what we wanna do is first, we wanna create a new layer and we want to make sure we're on our brush tool, which is just here on the little left hand side. And we want to make sure we're on the white brush tip. And we're going to zoom in a wee bit. And to start off with the blade, you want to make sure you have the brush just slightly atop of the hilt of the lightsaber. So just around about here. And make sure you have a small brush tip because what I'm about to show you in the next few seconds is going to show you the reason why so a bit of a handy tip here as well hold down shift and you can get it all the way up to the top of the lightsaber right now we're going to press command J which is going to duplicate that layer and we only want to do it two times so one two so there we go in comparison we've got that nice white streak going across up the top of the plastic part of the lightsaber and it's quite handy actually having the plastic blade in the shop because it, then it gives you a rough estimate on how long the blade needs to be sometimes i've used it without the plastic tip and it just makes it a lot harder so what we need to do is now we need to add a bit of gaussian blur gaussian blur is just to give it a bit more of a you know it's not so sharp because the lightsaber has kind of got that like it looks like it's moving as it's being ignited so we're going to go to blur we're going to go to gaussian blur and we want to start off with our first layer at five pixels we're going to press ok we're going to go to the second layer we're going to go to blur again to gaussian blur this time go to 15 and you guess right we're going to be going back again to filter to blur to Gaussian blur and we are going to go to 25 so you can already see the difference there and what it does it gives that nice little thicker feel so what we need to do is now we need to make another new layer a blank one and we're going to press command delete now if you get a different outcome if it's a different color or it's white instead of black just make sure your paint palettes here the black is sitting behind the white so we can get that black screen here and we can see the lightsaber so we want to press shift and grab all this all these layers here and go to merge layers now obviously this screen is uh, the image is still black but what we're going to do is now we're going to go to our blending mode and we're going to go to screen now we're going to press command m and we've got different channels you can have we'll we'll have the we have the curves layer here and we can just have a bit of a play around with this if you want a, a little bit more thinner have that more Alec Guinness lightsaber effect or we'll go for a bit more of a, a chunky kind of blocky blade and now what we're going to do is we're going to go to channel and go to blue 
and we're just gonna go to the center and we're just gonna bring it up 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 now I know it's not blue that we see in the movies it's a bit more of a purpley vibe but what we're gonna do is now we're gonna go to our adjustment layers to our hue and saturation and we only want to touch the hue right now so we're just gonna shift this over to the left until we get that nice blue almost dark blue cyan color kind of depends on what you want you can you can completely change it but we're just going to go for the traditional blue right now and obviously it's changed the image with it but that's fine what we have to do is just click on our saturation tool and go to create clipping mask and now it's only focused on the blade and again you can get different versions you can give light you can give obi-wan a green lightsaber a gold lightsaber purple orange or yellow depends on what you want to do and you can have a play around with the saturation give it a bit more of a darker blue but in terms of what makes it look natural i definitely would not change it too much and just be careful as well i was going to say this at the start but i completely forgot when you're creating the lightsaber make sure there's not too much white in the background like i when i took this image the the sky's in the background and it's all just cloud so you're not going to fully see the effect like i can see around here you can't fully see it but we've got enough there where we can see it but just be aware of that when you're taking the taking these images make sure you have enough kind of blacks or just other different colors in the background that will make this noticeable so right and that's kind of how you get your lightsaber effect now i'm going to give you a bit of a pointer here because i notice when i'm looking at toy photos where it's not a huge criticism but if you want that full effect what do you we want to make sure that the light from the lightsaber is emitting onto Obi-Wan. We want to make sure it's carrying over. Because when you see it here, we're not getting like the like light reflecting off Obi-Wan. So I'm just going to take a sample color of the lightsaber and I've made a new layer. Make sure you're on overlay and just start brushing around your character. Just where you think the light is going to admit and reflect off so i'm probably looking around about here and here probably just a little bit around the neck we'll just do a bit of a tidy up there we go and we'll just take the opacity down a wee bit so it looks a little bit more natural it's not a big change but it's like not a well i mean it's not a huge difference but i think it just creates that better effect I could probably bring the opacity up a wee bit. There we go. Yep. So you can see here, it just gets a, a more realistic effect. Now, there's a second way we can do this. We're going to turn off these layers. I'm just going to put them in a group for now. We're going to go back again. We're going to make a new layer. And make sure your paint palettes, you're back to white. We're on our paintbrush and same thing again start at the base and then you shift and go all the way up make, make sure see that's a problem you're going to find sometimes when you use the shift but that's all right we'll just start again there we go so the second way of doing this it's not I don't use this one a lot. I think I, I rarely use it, but it's always nice to have a second option if you're not too happy with what you've done with uh, the first lightsaber demonstration. So the second one here, we're gonna go to outer glow. And again, we can see a different effect here by using outer glow. And I use outer glow a lot. I might even make a video specifically with outer glow because i like using it for my clone troopers and stormtroopers and power rangers and stuff like that but we want to just take the opacity down a wee bit take the spread off change the size and you can have a bit more freedom with the color here 
yeah just tidy up make sure just to tidy up a wee bit you might want to just go back again make sure you not see any plastic pieces there but yeah and that's a second option on how to make a lightsaber effect now i hope you guys enjoyed the video um please like and subscribe comment down below what you want to see next um please follow my instagram page at broken artist 98 and i don't know what i'm going to do the next video but we'll see what happens i've been very busy at the moment but i like to try and make these videos when i have free time in the day but um yeah uh, i'll see you guys in the next video enjoy the rest of your day